Captain Gully here of the Happy Pirates. Welcome to another episode of Crafting with the Captain, or Arts and Crafts as we like to call it. So today, Gully and I figured we'd do something kind of off the top of our heads. We're gonna make pirate hats. That's right, every good pirate's gonna need some kind of a hat on top of your head to keep the sun out of your eyes, to keep the rain off of your face, and to generally just look like a really cool pirate. Today, Gully and I have three different type of hats we're going to show you how to make today. So you can get some supplies and watch this video and pause it and make these crafts right along with us. So the first type of hat we're going to take a look at is this, which is the old folding up a newspaper or a paper bag hat. This is what I used to do when I was a little baby pirate. I would make my pirate hat right out of these. So there's that. The next style of hat we're going to take a look at is this one, which is called a bicorn hat because it has two ends and can also look like this. There's a little bit of a fancier one. All right. We're going to make those out of paper. And the last kind is what I'm wearing, which is a tricorn hat, which has one, two, three ends to it, or actually one two, three folds on it. So we're going to get started with this style. So for this, you're going to need scissors. And if you're not comfortable using scissors, make sure you've got a parent pirate along with you to help out. And either a paper grocery bag that's been cut open, or you can just use a newspaper for this one. That's what I would usually use. The nice thing about the paper bags is you can paint these afterwards and decorate them, which you can do with the paper, uh, the newspaper as well. All right, so first thing we're going to do is take your paper bag cut out and fold it in half, or if it's a newspaper, it might already be folded in half. All right, and I'm gonna take this end, which has the fold on it, and I'm gonna fold a corner down like this to the center and I'm going to crease that. And then I'm going to bring this corner down to meet here. And I'm going to crease that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Then we should have two flaps down on the bottom where it's open. I'm going to fold this flap up like this to make a brim. And then Fold it out, flip it over. I'm gonna do the same thing with this half. Fold it up and crease it. And then you just open it up at the bottom and there you go, you've got a pirate hat. And you can decorate these, you can draw on these with crayons and colored pencils and markers. You can paint on them. You can get stickers if you happen to have stickers. And when you're ready to roll, you just open it up and place it right on your head, either like this or like this. And you've got yourself a really, really awesome, really easy to make pirate hat. So there's that. And if you've seen some of our other videos where we made pirate ships, this is actually the beginning of a pirate ship that we ended up making. So check out that video. The next one we're going to make is the bicorn hat. Now the bicorn hat was originally used by American and uh, European naval officers, and it was actually designed to lay flat so that you could tuck it under your arm and walk away. All right, so for this, we're going to need just two pieces of construction paper. When it's done, it's going to end up looking like this. I use two different colors. You can use any color that you want, whatever your favorite pirate color is. And it'll open up and we'll place it on our head just like that. So for this one, what we're first going to need to do is draw this little swoosh. All right, looks kind of like a wave, doesn't it? And you can draw that however you want. It can have one swoosh, it can have two swooshes. You can make it rectangular. But I'm just going to start down here, and I'm going to swoosh up, and swoosh down. And I want to end up at the same level 
on both sides, so they should match up. And one thing you can do is fold it up like this to see if your lines match up, which they do. And if I use a marker, it'll be a lot easier to see. So you'll see that my lines match up. Now, this is where you might need to get a little bit of pirate parent help, since we're going to need to use scissors and cut them out. If you're feeling fancy enough, you can cut out both pieces of paper at the same time. That way the swooshes match. Or you can cut out one, trace it on to the other one, and then you'll be able to cut that one out as well. All right. And the swoosh, the design is totally up to you. You can make it a big tall swoosh like this if you want to have a nice tall captain's bicorn hat. Or you can make it a low swoosh. You can have two swooshes. And there we go. So now, once you've got both pieces cut out, we're gonna lay them up on top of each other. And you can staple or tape the ends together. And that's going to hold our hat together. So I'm gonna put a couple staples here and then a couple staples here. If you were to tape it, you can just tape over the end. And then, just like with the other one, you can draw a skull and crossbones on it, or a happy pirate face, or you can get stickers, or you could even, if you wanted to, find a picture of your favorite happy pirate online, print them out, and stick it onto here. And then when you're done, you open it up, and then you've got your bicorn hat, which you can wear like this or like this. And you do have two sides to decorate. So you could put one decoration on this side and another one on this side. So that's the bicorn hat. Bi meaning two, so it's got two sides or two swooshes on it. The last one happens to be my favorite because it's what I'm wearing. It's the tricorn hat. Now the tricorn hat, it's tri because it's got three. Now the fun thing about the tricorn hat is it was designed to fold up like this so that if it happened to be raining or we happened to be getting hit by some waves, the water would actually follow these things like gutters and dump out here and dump out here in front of me so it wasn't in my face. Although some pirates would actually wear their hats like this. So that the water goes this way, right over my shoulders, and whoosh, right off the back. So that's the nice thing about the tricorn hat. And it keeps the sun out of your, out of your eyes, and it makes you look dashingly handsome, like any pirate should. So this is what we're going to end up making with our tricorn hat you're gonna notice that it has the same swoosh design as the bicorn hat. But now, because it's a tricorn, there are three. And it's got a little band in the middle that we're gonna create first. So, in order to create that band, I just took construction paper and put it into strips. And again, you can use tape or you can use staples. So I'm just gonna staple this together here to make one long band. And this, you're gonna wrap around your head to make sure to get to the right width. So you might need some parent pirate help on this one, but you can get it there and figure out what that width is. And then you can staple it and it'll be perfectly sized for your pirate noggin. Just like that. So there's the band. We're gonna put that aside. Next, we need to cut out three swooshes. So it's the same as with the bicorn hat. I'm gonna draw my little swoosh design, which is totally up to you how you do it. But again, you wanna try and make sure that the ends are at the same level. So I'm gonna go swoosh up and down and like that. And make sure the, those line up. So if 
you're really comfortable with scissors. You can cut them all out at the same time, or you can cut out one and use that one to trace the next one. I'm going to cut them out at the same time. This is something that, again, because we're using scissors, you're going to want some pirate parent help on this one. But also, your parent can hold the paper together while you do the cutting. This type of hat was originally worn by Spanish sailors in the 17th century, and then they just became really, really popular. Now for this one, because this hat does not lie flat, you might want to decorate it now before you put it all together. So get out your crayons, your markers, or your paint, or a cutout picture of your favorite happy pirate face and put those on there. You can decorate one side or all three sides. Then we have to attach it to this. This one you're definitely going to need some pirate parent help on. So the way I did it was I took the center of this and I attached it to the band. So you can tape it. I'm just going to use a couple staples. So it's like that, which you could just leave it like that and just keep it facing forward. Now, just like with the bicorn, I'm going to start attaching the ends to each other. So once I've got this on the band, now I'm going to start stapling the ends together. Again, you can tape or staple. So I'm not going to attach these together. I'm going to bring this one in and attach one to here and one to here. So this one will attach onto here. And then this one will attach to here. Then the last thing we need to do is, just like the first one was attached to the band, we need to attach this to the band and this to the band. Staple or tape, or glue for that matter. And there we go. You've got your very own tricorn hat. And your bicorn hat. And your newspaper hat. Perfect for any dashing or good looking pirate to wear. So, grab your supplies, grab your parent pirate helpers, and start crafting some of these hats. We would love to see what you guys create. So when you're done, Find us on Facebook, go to happypirates.com or on Instagram, post some pictures or videos of you and your entire pirate crew wearing pirate hats. We'd love to see what you create. So there you go, get crafting, and we will see you on the next episode of Arts and Crafts. Ahoy to you! We are